think the girls are really loving being part of Trent Music Makers because they kind of feel like they belong to, to something. When Sophia was going in, she's around other people. She's seeing other people with instruments. You know, they're all playing together. It's just people there kind of, you know, giving you confidence. Mariah really wanted to play the viola because she sees her sister playing that instrument and she wanted to do the same. She wants to do everything that Sophia does. They want the same shoes, the same clothes. They want to do the same things. They want to be in the same place. They want to sleep in the same they bed. They're in the same bed every day. They so, want to sleep in the same bed. <laughs> they're definitely going to want to play the viola. It's everything the same. I love that. I love it. So when Sophia started playing a viola, I liked it, so then I wanted a viola, like super bad. Well, when I first got in, um, Miss Steele, she came in my, in my class when I was in second grade, and she told, she told me this thing, but I didn't really understand. When I went to the program and I saw my instrument, I just smiled. It's something that they elect, that they want to do. Sometimes, you know, you feel like you're pushing things on, but, you know, we know that it's not like that. It's awesome to see the girls, their, their eyes kind of light up when they learn a song, or they'll run and tell me, hey, I just learned this. And I remember that feeling like when I was a kid and, and, and learning things for the first time. It's just like, and then you want to keep doing it over and over again after that. I was listening to Sophia play this last concert that you had online, and I was just like, wow. You know, I had some, I had tears in my eyes because I couldn't believe how, how well she was playing, you know? you know. I can't believe that she actually learned this online, you know, and, uh, mm -hmm. through Zoom. It was, you know, I, I was really proud of her, you know, what she accomplished. I still remember so vividly the first time I met Sofia Martinez. That little girl is so intense and she's so joyful, but she pours the joy into everything she does rather than giving you a big smile. The story of the Martinez sisters, I feel it very personal since uh, my own sister also plays violin. We were uh, growing up, we both played the same instrument too. So seeing Mariah look up to her sister like that um, and picking her instrument based on what her sister is playing, um, it's something that really calls uh, to me. I remember um, meeting them for the first time in the program and then I met Mariah at MCA when I was uh, giving her the instrument. It was a little bit of a confusion. We didn't really know where, uh, what her age was and at some point and we, we thought that it, she was ready to go to orchestra program. So her enthusiasm for the instrument was so much that, uh, um, that it was like a no-brainer. A lot of what we're trying to do in Trent Music Makers, yeah, it's about building musical skill, but what's very, very important is the ensemble and being together. And for our kids to bring their whole selves, for us to appreciate their entire voice as musicians and also as young people, um, for them to feel connected to one another, for them to discover how joyful really hard work can be, um, and how much they have to learn from each other. It's been super challenging to accomplish that remotely. And to do that over Zoom is uh, every day we have to get more innovative in how we do it. You have to kind of reassess your whole approach to teaching and, and how you create valuable opportunities um, so ki kids can keep coming to a program. But what you're gonna, about to see, it's a, a really a, a combination of really strategic planning um, but, and, and a lot of passion. I mean. Yeah, it, it takes a, a huge amount of effort to pull up three minutes of something like this. And for some of our kids picking up their instruments and playing and seeing their teachers across the screen, we heard that this gave them an escape and a window and a, a way to do something different from what they otherwise might have believed was possible. 
Cuando Keira ingresó al programa de Trento Music Maker, la verdad que sí fue una muy buena idea porque fue como un pasatiempo extra. Estaba estresada de tanto la escuela y de otros programas, entonces como que la llegó como a relajar y a, a interactuar con otros niños. Bueno, el tener un violín en, en casa por primera vez, al principio sí fue un poquito difícil, pues porque mi hija Keira nunca había usado un violín, entonces no le salía bien la entonación, ella se frustraba, eh, entonces yo le decía, hija, ten paciencia, van pasando los días, van pasando las semanas, vas a ir aprendiendo. Ahora la escuchamos tocando el violín en la casa y es una felicidad porque ya se le escucha muy bien. ¿Qué estás? ¿Estás fácil? No. No, 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 no. Cuando Keira tuvo el recital de primavera, fue muy difícil. Ella se puso muy nerviosa. Eh, decía ella que era una nota muy difícil y que no iba a poder, ella practicaba, 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 enviaba hasta 3, 2, 5 videos, entonces ya hablé con ella, se relajó y al final hizo un muy buen trabajo, me siento muy orgullosa de ella porque en 8 meses ella ha avanzado mucho. Cuando I played in the recital, she told me that I was a great violinist and don't be nervous. Um, she told me to move on with the beat, just close your eyes and just feel it. It's okay, it's okay, try it. Let me help you, I'll help you. Eh, fue un poquito eh, más difícil estar en la pandemia en la casa con los niños, recibir las clases online, pero luego nos fuimos adaptando y... Al principio pensé que se iba a ser muy difícil, porque tocar cuerdas y todo que lo estuvieran diciendo por online, pero la verdad no, porque a pesar de que tiene ocho meses, ella ya subió de, de nivel. All my friends know that I play the violin, and they really like when I show them what I can play. My favorite song is Le Conte de Fes. Um, I like the, like the rhythm of it, and um, I like how it's like you repeat it, and then you repeat the other one. En el futuro del programa de Trento Music Maker, espero de que sigan dando las ayudas que siguen dando para los niños, que sea un programa gratis o a un bajo costo, 
porque la verdad sí beneficia mucho a los niños, aprenden mucho, aunque pensamos que no, porque yo era de una de las personas que pensaba de que Keira no iba a poder con el violín, era su primera vez, nunca había tocado un instrumento y la verdad que me ha sorprendido porque es una buena herramienta y estoy muy satisfecha con el programa y con Keira y, y con todo el equipo del programa de Trento Music Maker. One of the great things about our program is that our kids have access to a wide range of teachers. And while that opportunity is there, uh, it's true that uh, there is a main teacher for each studio. Uh, in the case for Kara, uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Jody Rajesh. She was, she was her teacher during this whole uh, year. It really shows how, how adaptability plays a huge role in, in, in teaching and, and how successful um, some things can be. I mean, uh, taking into consideration that Kara has th was taught online since the very beginning. Like, she never had an in-person lesson. Seeing her grow um, as a musician and as a violinist, uh, despite everything, you know, being at home, I think is very beautiful. Not only shout out to Jody, but shout out to all the team who's uh, been wonderful to work with and, and, and great to, to, to just build something together. Running the program remotely has given us some really amazing opportunities to learn new ways of, of what works best. Uh, we've found that having kids together in smaller groups was really key. We also found we'd spend a lot more time on collective composition than we might have if we were all together because it was so much fun to come up with our own ideas, let our teachers, let Raul in particular, Raul Dennis did some extraordinary work bringing it all together, um, the fragments of idea we had for, for music and that the kids had for, for music and creating collective compositions was a a great opportunity. Something amazing happened in about February. I had been following this killer Trenton musician <laughs> named Josue Lora and I was following his stuff on social media and one day I looked at a picture of him and said, oh my god I know this guy. We work on the same hallway in the same building. This really natural idea grew that we could do a remix of one of his tunes that included string lines for our kids. Together with Freddie and Melissa we um, we chose this one called Simple, which was perfect for right now. It, it went right to all of our souls because it is all about just the strength and the poetry of going back home and being with your family 
So then it got even better. We got a call from our friends at the Children's Home Society of New Jersey, who, who houses the TEDDY program, which is Trend Education Dance Institute. And they said, hey, would you guys be interested in doing a project with us? We're thinking about student choreography and student composition. Our kids would compose 16 bars and send it over to TEDDY and let them choreograph it. And then TEDDY would send it back to us and we'd add more lines and more musical ideas and send it back to them and they'd send more choreographed ideas and it was going so well I said hey I've got another idea Do you want to join us on this project with Josue do you want to be a part of this video so this whole experience although it sort of grew and took on a life of its own it's the kind of thing that happens in Trenton Trenton's the perfect size uh, where people can really know each other and the intention and the desire to work well together and for everybody better to combine strengths is so typical of this great city that it's been a perfect way to end our remote program altogether. Tu voz una guitarra que retumba la montaña, como la lluvia que truena en tus pestañas, o como el bosque, o sea, no esperar, esperanza insegura, mirada que nunca engaña. Si tu jíbaro guajiro lo sé, cosechando de tu amor, precipitando café. Y no es para complicar tu presencia, me anestesia, pues en ti más lo siento, pasa el viento, pasa el tiempo, pausa y todo causa de tu aroma libre, que anda perfumando las ganas de irme de nada. So this was fun. When we went over to South River Walk Park to film this video, I had walked away and to do something. And when I came back, I suddenly discovered that Freddie was introducing kids to each other. And these kids have been in the program all year long. Some of them had been in different studios. Some of them had only joined in January or February. So they hadn't been doing what some of the more advanced kids were doing in bigger groups. And the kids were meeting each other for the very first time. I looked over a couple minutes later and they were chasing each other across the grass and playing games in the park. What we really want is an atmosphere of affluence and opportunity. And for the kids to expect everything from us, from each other, and from themselves. It's one of the reasons we can't wait to be back together in person. And, and we hope that when we do, when they look back on this year, they'll remember a year that they learned something new and that it was an exciting opportunity. And they stayed connected to each other and they were never alone and never isolated. Sometimes we receive kids with a wider range of, of abilities. And, and sometimes there are kids that are, uh, just push you to be better. They, they have this, uh, innate ability and 
while you might not have been uh, an essential part of that development at the beginning, you can be part of something um, to help them grow and, and give them opportunities. And that itself pushes the program to be better, pushes the teachers to be better, and creates a rewarding experience for everybody. that we are is Princeton Deliverance Center here in the city of Trenton, New Jersey. Uh, my wife, Corintha, parents are the pastors. This is our second home. This is the place that our boys first started playing music. This is the place that Arthur got his first, I guess you can say, gig or playing assignment, um, being the church organist. And just about every event has been here, birthday parties. Oh. Baptism. Baptism, everything. <laughs> yeah, so. You name it. This is the place that you can say music started for them. <laughs> Train Music Maker as a whole has been a good program. Mr. Doug has been a very integral part of his life. One day we was like, what do you listen to? He's like, oh, Mr. Doug has rehearsal with his band and he told me I can listen in, you know? And then I'm like, what are you doing now? He was like, I heard that bass line he's playing. I pulled my bass out and like, you should try this right here instead. You know, even with that, you know, it's just, he's really giving him opportunity to expand his thinking and playing. And he really does look forward to like, okay, I got Mr. Doug today, you know. He helps me a lot with the right bass. I didn't really know how to read music that good. So I feel way more confident now in my, in my sight reading or just reading in general. This past year has been up, down, round, um, happy, grief, the whole span of emotions we have been through it. As a family, it makes you realize what's important, what's not important, what to hold on to, what to let go of. And it makes you reprioritize your life and appreciate those who are around you, people that we always thought would be there or are now gone. A lot of nights where, you know, things are going on or we've gotten news that I've just heard him go in the room and just pick up an instrument. This nights I walked in and see him with his bass on him and every five, 10 minutes, there's a little boing. You know, he would make this silly song up and he would just laugh, but I think he found a way to deal with what is currently going on. and laugh about like we are doing now and realize that those were the little things that got us through it all. You know, those moments, the situations of someone thought their camera was off, but it was still on, <laughs> you know, and someone thought they were muted, but they really wasn't. That those, all the little things like that would be the things that years from now that will bring us laughter, even when this time was to bring us some sort of sadness. Music was an outlet for them to be able to get stressors off, to be able to just see that there's still an outside outside. It, this program has been very great for them. And I, I believe that we'll be able to get back into the rhythm of life.
Here we go. D double M. I love it. I love it. L B E I T double M. I love it. Aries complain all the time when you have when they're practicing oh. and they have the, the kids that have their instrument directly on the computer. And like, hey, you look, oh my god, they're too close. <laughs> they're too loud, you know. I love it. <laughs> okay. This, this is like playing a concerto. Like you have to like it's like performing. It's really funny. Uh okay. Really low. Yeah. Ice cream is high. Like high. All right. I love it. I love it.